Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Quick update on the uh, portable sink that I did the video on yesterday. I added a pond pump to it to make it automatic so you don't have to pump it with your foot anymore. And it works pretty good so I thought I'd show it to you. If you didn't see the original review video, I'll put a link to it down in the description so you can uh, check it out. Uh, you can see here that the uh, with the pond pump in it, it fills up this sink really quick now. And uh, I put it on a uh, remote switch, but any uh, 110 power switch that you rig up will work just fine. Uh, the update only cost me about $30. I, put, I paid uh, $25 for the aquarium pump, and I'll show you what I bought here in a minute. And then I bought a little bit of holes and a clamp. And uh, you can see here that uh, I had to add another uh, bucket to it. That's the reservoir bucket that holds the fresh water now. And the black hose is the new hose that goes up to the spigot. And uh, here's the aquarium pump that I purchased. It's a 354 gallons per hour pump. And it seems to be plenty powerful enough. I won't go into a whole lot of detail here, but uh, the... Uh, pump that I bought uses an inside diameter hose of a half an inch and the hose that attaches to the sink is a little bit smaller than that so I just slid I cut off a small piece of the hose that the spigot attached to it and then slid that down inside the uh, black hose that I purchased and then used a, uh, a hose clamp to hold everything together